Hi, and welcome back to Confidence on Cut. And where are we? We're in my kitchen. Oh, did I? I nearly spilled that. <laughs> we are in my kitchen. And, um, well, it takes a long time to cook African food if you really want to get a good taste. And so today I'm going to try uh, a recipe and make it faster, try and get it... Um, going faster or something that is easy to cook because African food is very, very, could be, could be complicated to cook. If this is your first time on here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification so that you will be the first to know when I upload any new content. Well, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be cooking um, a dish uh, that is, um, it's actually very, it's, it's, it's a dish that is common in every home, but it's only eaten when someone is ill or you're going to start giving a baby solid food. My son Odin, uh, when he was ready to eat solid food, this is what I started him off with. And when I'm ill and I'm, ugh, I can't really swallow because I like swallowing, I don't like chewing. So I like my banku swallowing it and all that. So um, when I'm ill and I'm not, um, feeling my best and I don't feel like chewing that much, this is what I go to and it, you know, kickstart your engine to get better. Well, it's called Impotom Potter. Well, the Impotom Potter basically just me means that mash mash because you would, it's, it's actually a process, you mash it a bit and all that. But let me introduce you to the ingredients that we have. So we have a shrimp powder over there. We have uh, dry fish, You'd, we call it ajado in Ewe, uh, and it's just um, dry henries. And then we've got uh, dry catfish. Well, bear in mind that you'll have to soak it, and that's why we have them soak over here. So this is what they look like when you buy them, and you have to soak them to get it ready for uh, this uh, recipe. You've got salt to taste, you've got your ginger, garlic, your uh, puree, uh, puree, garlic, puree, uh, ginger, and you've got your cocoa yam, which is the bigger chunk of uh, the dish. Uh, you've got your uh, stock to taste. You've got your onions, pepper, and tomatoes. Well, it's very important that you have something to mash it. So you would need a pot like this. Uh, in Ghana, I would have used my asanka, but today I looked, I actually did look for my asanka, I can't find. I don't know where my, my cleaner, Daniela, put it. So um, I found this. So I'm gonna use this one today. And you need your potato pillar and a knife because you're gonna cut it into that cube. That is the cut cocoa yam. So that's how you have to cut it into cubes like that. So I'm just going to show you how I, I normally just go like that. Does, don't, these things, don't they come easily? They're so easy to use. <laughs> so your potato peel up. Sometimes the skin can be a bit tough, so just make sure that you dig in a bit um, harder to get all that out. And then I'm going to There we go. So that's how you prepare your cocoa yam. Let me take it to the tap, wash it. So now it washed. Um, for me, I, what I try to do is uh, to make the process faster, I would use uh, hot uh, water to to cook the um, cochlea. Please make sure when you're dropping it in the hot water, you're careful. And then uh, have your onions. 
and tomatoes ready to go on. And you can add your pepper. But be careful because this chili is really hot. <laughs> so be careful. I think today I'm going to use only half of it. So there we go. And then you drop that in there. And this is the time to add your salt to taste. So basically you just put everything in there and then you just, it's, it's that easy. And that's why uh, I think it's fast. So add your gin, your uh, garlic puree. After you've added your ginger, you add your soaked fish, all of them. So basically you just put everything into one pot Normally what I would do is, um, when it's done, I might want to use the water as stock later. So you keep it, don't throw that away. And then I'm going to add my shrimp. Add my stock to taste. And stir. There we go. Now we're gonna wait for it to boil and um, cook. So we're waiting. That's the thing about African food, you wait. <laughs> Halfway through your uh, cocoa yam cooking, you um, open, put this somewhere here, uh, check its softness because you really need it to be very soft. Yeah, that's very soft. So now we'll have to um, blend all the whole ingredients that you've put in, which is your, your uh, tomatoes, onions, and uh, pepper. If you like, you can also cook this dish with uh, normal potatoes, but that you will have to uh, keep an eye on it when you're cooking so that it doesn't cook uh, fully. Because, you know, if you allow it to overcook, so it doesn't overcook, actually not fully, it doesn't overcook. So um, let's blend this. There we go. Well, you can choose also to cook this dish um, with um, just normal potatoes. That's also possible. But just be careful that you, you don't get, um, you don't overcook, yeah. You don't overcook the potatoes. Even though it becomes like a, a puree. I like using uh, coco yam or uh, sweet potatoes. That's another, uh, form of yam that you can use and you can use just the normal um, yam also you remember the stock that I told you about not to throw away this is where it comes in handy so you're gonna use your stock to wash not wash, but then kind of <laughs> clean the the left uh, the rest of the uh, puree that is in the uh, blender into your pot there we go. Now you stir. And you let it continue cooking. So now you give it about 10 minutes and then we're gonna take the cocoa yam out. Take it off the fire. Take your machine um, bowl. You can choose to use um, the black pot, but we're going to use um, this one today. Get out all the solid uh, cocoa yam, so that's how it is. Put it in there. I sometimes like to leave a bit of a uh, chunk uh, in there so 
it's up to you. It's just a preference um, what you would want to do with it. When you're getting it out, just make sure that you don't um, take the fish, the fish that is in the soup with it. I think that is enough, so let's try that. So you will mash it. And it's just a little mash, not too much, because if you over mash it, it will turn into like a fufu kind of thing. <laughs> so just give it just a little uh, twist there and there. There we go. That's it. That's all you need. Then you scoop it back into the pot. And then you get the other it all depends on how much you want it to be, you know, soft or mashed. Yeah, not soft, mashed, because it's already soft, so mashed. So I'm trying to get all the other part that I, I missed earlier on. And if you like, what you can also do is uh, take out, uh, take it all out, and then you, just, you don't have to go in there trying to get, find them, because that could be a bit tedious, so. And because I like some in their hole, that's why I'm not going to um, uh, take out everything. But if you're giving it to a child, <laughs> and if you're gonna give this to a child as a form of uh, starting them on solid, um, I'll, I'll advise that you mash it much, much better. And uh, some people can also, you can also um, add palm oil you can also add palm oil um, to give it color if you want to but I don't want that I like my food very um, very natural very less oil is very good for me that's what I like doing but it's up to you how you would want it so second round of mashing So then at this point, you're going to take it back to the fire and get the water to dry out a bit. So just keep it cooking. There we go. So we're just going to keep it cooking. And actually, it almost done. It's almost ready, so let's get it cooked a little bit further and we will serve it. But let me clear off this a little bit. Well, our impotong poto is done. Mash, mash. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Oh, gosh. That is so delicious. Hey. Let's try and see if it tastes that good. Mm. Oh my goodness, the flavors in here the flavors from the fish, the two types of fish, the catfish and the smoked uh, dry uh, Henry and the spices. Oh my goodness, this is just beautiful. Um, please don't add a lot of pepper if you're going to tr uh, give it to a child as their first solid. Because you see how it is? So you can easily use it as a solid for a child, a baby. Uh, but 
you know, you can put as much as you can if you're the one eating it and if you're eating it for, uh, for the fact that you're ill and you can't eat anything solid, that is very, um, that's very good. Yummy, 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 yummy. If you love watching uh, this uh, episode, make sure you subscribe. Mm. Turn on your notifications and, you know, follow us on all our social media platforms. Confidence with a K, Confidence on Cat, so Confidence on Cat with a K. Make sure you tune in next time. Um, it's every Friday at 8 p.m. Hope you tried this ever recipe and tell me whether you were successful or you were not. Comment down below. Anyway, I'm going to just continue eating my food. See you next time. Bye bye. Mmm.